And after that, we came home and I went up on the roof to take some pictures. It was still a clear day. I took six or eight pictures looking out in every possible direction from the roof where the moon was already up, just a sliver still or approaching half. And I didn't change exposures except when I shot directly at the sun and when I shot my own shadow. The house was a mess of machines that day, tapes and cords lying all over, doing nothing. We had been working, so we cleaned up a little, and Ed used Vito's tape recorder, the one he left there, via in Toronto, I think, to listen to the tapes we had gotten. I asked Ed to take a picture of me from the back by the fluorescent light, and I looked at the light itself, which always comes out green on film. In Ed's desk, we had just set it up and tore down some shelves so he could have that corner. The desk was covered with tapes and lists of sounds, catalogs of equipment, tape cleaner, and degausser. If I'm remembering it right, a degausser is a machine that demagnetizes tape so you can re-record on it clean. We did the dishes too. I think we'd been drinking a lot of espresso around that time, a lot of coffee of all kinds. I looked at all the lights in the room and the lights across the street. You can see them from the fire escape. They're always on 24 hours a day. Impossible to take, make pictures of the scenes, not dull of white it down. We are recording sound, listen, supermarket, department store, bells, no bells. We move to a different turn, spot, tune, gimbals to corn at Macy's, looking at four bells. This is a girl who must take, make pictures. She, not postpone. Smoothly into focus comes foods, notes, sounds, taken in the car, taken while everyone and everything goes on moving in some experiment with isolation. Is that what it is? If you've enjoyed these programs, please consider giving a contribution to Poets House. For more than 30 years, they've kept the door wide open to everyone for the joy of poetry. Recently, they have temporarily had to shut the door and are reeling from the financial implications. Please give even a small donation if you can. Thank you.